So let's recap uh, from our last adventure from many many weeks ago. But uh, I think it's still okay. Uh, last adventure was entitled "What Lies Beneath" because you do went. Uh, that's parts one and two. The previous session was also "What Lies Beneath" part one. <laughs> uh, so you you went underground. Uh, you explored underground um, and you encountered some of the urban legends. Turns out to be true. There's a giant crocodile living underneath the sewers of Daggerford. Mm-hmm. And some of you had some pretty smelly adventures going in and out. Uh, but one of the things that you discovered are the remnants of some belongings to a person named Agloron. Uh, there is a sword among that possession that was retrieved from the belly of the beast. Um, beast being the crocodile. And uh, after exploring underground, uh, you, you encountered an old crypt that seems to house the remnants of the remains of the Daggerford nobility. Uh, but uh, after that, the, the party split. With uh, most of the party remaining underground, exploring the the hidden tunnels, the 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 sewers, while Felix, uh, in half, uh, left the party to to went out. Uh, when he he went out, he says he's going to the tavern, and then he he wants to say he was going towards the the nephew. the barrack, oh, yeah, yes. the the barrack, to do his report. The the rest of the party was exploring here, hither and thither underground, and uh, the 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 hither encountered some very tough characters, uh, combatants. Um, most of them uh, have some pretty misadventures. One almost uh, almost went under. Literally went <laughs> under, <laughs> but they managed to, in the end, escape with their lives. So, uh, with that adventure completed, uh, they managed to get their the entire party outside into the the clean air again. Some of them are well. At least two of them are really smelly. <laughs> from from the encounter out downstairs, and this is where we find ourselves tonight. Are we ready? Cool. Are we ready? Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Yep. Some questions from from oh. me. Uh, who is keeping the the findings from from the last session? I mean the the sword. I... The 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 crocodile. Uh, I have yeah. the crocodile skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have it, um, mm-hmm. and I think Chen Chen has the uh, sword. No, Felix. Uh, Camille uh, has a sword. He identified it. Oh, me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Identify. No, no. You identified the sword. You already identified it. Right? Not yet. I think Already, when, yeah. no. Yeah. Um, I, I think when we were in a panic because um, when we got the sword, suddenly we heard splash, and splash was shadow dropping into the sewers, and then before we could point and laugh, alligator came by. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Actually, your hey, recollection. I- yeah, I think actually your recollection is a bit uh, different from what actually transpired. Oh, really? You okay. retrieved the sword from inside the alligator's belly. Oh. Yeah, that's why. I was remember it? that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. So, oh. Yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Because uh, when we opened the chest, uh, there were three letters uh, saying Alban, Bane, and Carrie, was it? Isn't the chest empty? No, it's but when they were carving, like, I think. Oh, the... No, no, the, the, carving... the carving. The carving is. Was... What's the name mm-hmm. of it? I was the only yeah. one who saw it. Aglaron, yeah, 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 yeah. And then what's Alban, Bin, and Carrie? Who? 
those are the three guards that was with you. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> okay. Albert and Ben uh, <laughs> lost their lives from the encounter with the giant alligator, and <laughs> Carrie, uh, Carrie was the last remaining guard. Guard. <coughs> Mm, okay. Carrie Junior. <laughs> you wish. <coughs> All right. Cool. 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 All right. So yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. So okay. Then yeah. Um. But I still think the sword is not with me. Like I get the skin only. I I remember uh Camille Camille identified the sword. It was uh it's not exactly a magic sword, but it's something similar to that. Yeah, right? I wanted to. I can't remember. He uh, he wanted to, but he did not identify. There ah. and then. Okay. <coughs> so assuming Camille has the sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Yes, checking on all the things that uh we we have left. So this is what the sword looks like. Ooh. Uh, with the name Agloron uh on in. Elvish. Ash uh, in in runes. Uh, oh, this is the katana. Ah. An elven katana. Elven sword. Oh, it Thank looks you. like it's been heavily used. All right. So, <coughs> um, let's begin with four members. Uh, let's say is Shadow. Camille, yep. uh, Carl, and also Chen Chen. You managed to get out of the the sewers. Uh, <coughs> two of you, uh, half of you, are smellier than 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 than, <laughs> than what you remembered mm-hmm. being smelly all your mm-hmm. life. <laughs> so what do you do? Bye. It is almost. Uh, I think it, it is. Early night time. I think it's about seven. By the way, uh, is Carrie with them? Because I remember Carrie was dragged along with them when they escaped. Yeah, but uh, Carrie also remembers uh Felix telling him to report to Lanever as mm. soon as they get out, as ah, he yeah. gets out. And Carrie uh, dutifully say that okay, I will take my leave. I'll do my reports. <coughs> All right, okay. and the four of you are left there. Uh, Felix is long gone because he never joined your first. Oh, part, wait, part wait. Two encounter. Oh wait, uh, I we tell Carrie to you know to uh, later on get a team to pick up the head of the crocodile. I guess. Okay. Yeah. We can use so it. More... What? We we, we can <laughs> we can put it on display. You know. Saying that you know this is Commander's Lanier's contribution, <laughs> monster. <laughs> ah, and okay. somehow the church will claim it as their own. <laughs> yeah, but that's, mm. that's why that's why Terry. Yeah, that's why Terry have to immediately with haste go and collect the monster's head. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, Terry dutifully acknowledge uh your instructions and made his way. And because you also cannot stand the, the <laughs> smell of two of you. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so <clears throat> four of you are outside <clears throat> of the the sewer opening. So what do you do? The time now is about around seven p.m. Yep. Head back to the barracks. But, Take a shower. Yeah, a question. <clears throat> yeah. Since we're level. Up, so we do have the spells and recover back <coughs> hour, so, or do we need a rest to recover? You, you need a rest because you just tail high tail out of the the, the sewers. You need and to the, have and uh, only the level up will only oh. like upper uh, number. We yeah. we leveling up resets like, their yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, you guys have leveled up, right? Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll make a judgment call. I think you can auto increase uh, and also regain spells what you need lah. So basically, uh, they are yeah. long yeah. rest then. Yeah, long rest. All right. Yay! 
I I haven't I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay. I I haven't done it yet. Okay. It's not really a forgot kind of matter. So, we we left things off at a <coughs> very precarious uh, situation. Mm-hmm. Since that happened, I might. Uh, so I know that the one that is smelly is me and. Uh, Chen. Uh, Carl. Smelling right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, Melly, you are filthy. <laughs> All right, I'll cast pre-digestion on us. Yay! Pre-digestion. Yay. <laughs> what was Speaking it called again? Oh man, I forgot the spell name. That is a good spell. Convenient. Pre-digestion. Yeah. Uh, no. Yes. Pre-digest- First, uh, we we all need to learn how to pronounce it. <laughs> Press, press yeah. the press digitation. <laughs> press, press the digi- digitation or whatnot. Yeah, press digitation. Gestation. Press the- press the- gestation. Press gestation. No, press press the press the di- digitation. Di- ah, yes, that. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you cast it on the two of them, right? Yeah, since oh. it's a cantrip, I can cast it twice. All right, sure. Oh, nice. Uh, Clean yourself. Transmutation. It will be actual clean or just or it, it, is, it will clean, be actually yeah. clean. Not yeah, magical or illusory. So. It's not in. It's not an illusion of clean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, uh, you manage to rid yourself of the smell, the the color, and <sighs> the stickiness that haunts you <laughs> all your on your way out <laughs> all the time. Okay. <laughs> cleaning business. Okay, cool. Now you stand outside. <laughs> um, the ground has started to accumulate some snow. The snow has fallen for quite some time, and it is uh, winter. Is it, it is the beginning of winter? So, where do you yeah. go? What do you do? I think I need some ale. Identify. <laughs> I'm going to the barracks and have a rest. It's very tired. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <clears throat> so, so you went to your hostel barracks, right? Yeah. Dorms. Yeah. Your dorms. Okay. All right. So you went to your dorms. Uh. Identify. All right. There, the the only four of you there. Felix is not there yet. Identify. Somebody really, really wants to right. use identify as well. <laughs> so re- somebody really wants to use identify. All right, you ident- you want to identify the sword, right? Yeah. All right. It seems to be a normal sword, a long sword. Ooh. Ah, <coughs> huh? that's it. Yep. I thought it's gonna be like special magic sword. Uh, who is an elf among you? Uh, Chen Chen, right? Yeah, I I can read Elvish. Okay, it, uh, the el- you you saw some runes that I think it, it is some extra names right other than Eglaron. Oh, that's written yeah. on there. Yep. What what what's, what are the names? Uh, there will be. I think that it it is some of the weird elvish tongue. Mm. With, with Eclaron is the the. I think you you if you see the sword, there there are several etchings, and some of the etchings on the sword seems to be either it doesn't look legible. It seems like. As if it was the 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 stomach acid has affected it somehow, or so it seems. Hmm. Okay. I'll share this information with the guy. So. All right. A fixed character has elder tongue. Ah. No, no, no. J- j- not elder tongue. Just just typing. Not that is oh. not my character. They oh. are out of character. Oh okay. Oh okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, and by now you, okay. Um, 
Let's see. All of you roll perception. The four of you. Oh, okay. It's been Last a while. <laughs> yes. Ooh, come perception. Nice. It's loading. Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Nice job, Chin Chin. Yeah. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dead one. Good damn. Do do later. I I I will try to to find a rule, fumble rule. I, I will come up with a fumble rule for table or something. That would be fun. Oh god. <laughs> like a treasure table. Do a fumble table. Yeah, I will do that. It's not working. Oh no. Wow, Carl cannot cannot roll. I can't roll for some reason. Huh? I'm not responding. Okay. Anyway, uh, Chen Chen, you you notice the 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 bed of of Felix is usually very very tidy. Uh, when every time he exits his room, uh, a very disciplined military man. And it doesn't seem to be disturbed since uh, you left the dorm last time. Camille also noticed. Yeah, it is a bit weird that it has not been as if Felix has not returned at all to the dorm. And has uh, for Chen Chen, you notice it is also quite some time you were under there and you last seen. When you last see Felix, before your encounter with the the guards underneath the catacombs, hey, do you will still be trauma traumatized? You you seem to still as if in your head you are still smelling shit. <laughs> Where, whereas you oh, are actually God. very clean, but it's like a trauma that that's. Follows you. You smell shit. I almost, smell shit. <laughs> almost died a couple of times, and then <laughs> smell like shit. Yeah, <laughs> I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, are you taking some rest there to to rest your characters while while you are there? Yeah, <coughs> probably a short rest. Okay. Short rest. So you took a short For rest. For me, it's a sh- short rest. Yep. Short rest is about what one hour? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, all of you took a short rest. Um, the the sword is still with Camille. Mhm. All right. Camille. Um, can you roll another uh, perception? Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. You you. Th- Your identification of the sword seems to be like it is a normal long sword, but there is a certain way when you you when you hold it, it seems like it it is quite light. It doesn't feel like you have held swords before, but this seems to to be well balanced, a very well balanced sword. <gasps> Mitral sword. Ooh. All right, so you took one hour to to rest, uh, recover, and for Shadow, he is still trying to uh, untraumatize himself. <laughs> <laughs> and after one hour, you feel slightly refreshed, and by now it's about eight, eight something at night. <coughs> It is growing colder. With the night time, the snow has uh, started falling again. All right. What do you do at the dorms? I, I would like to tell, remind everyone that you know, our encounter with a very strong man. That uh, no, those guys might be royal guards. <laughs> <laughs> They might be guards of uh, some kind, and we probably shouldn't mention this uh, any anytime sooner. Agree? Yeah. Agree. 
Yeah. Fine by me. Some disguise. So let's let's just pretend that we 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 fought some more alligators instead, and we just ran them away. Okay. We have never seen mm-hmm. this before. Mm. <coughs> That's fine by me. Yeah. We 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 too were encountered encountered some weird people there that we <coughs> had run away from. <coughs> But we have no an idea. Air, what. An air of conspiracy uh, conspiracy hangs heavy in your room, in your dorm. <laughs> Conspiracy, take the <laughs> crown. Chen, Chen, you were you, you were saying something? Yeah, with that task, we might need to put some some disguise on, maybe just to be yeah. safe. I asked Shadow, did you did they get a good look at you? Oh, well, I wear the hood, the, my double hooded, all the time, <laughs> so they might doesn't have my, the clear look oh, on my face. God. I'm just thinking <laughs> double hood and then going through the water. It's like, oh, the smell. Oh. That's, that, that's why I, I roll a d20 so, for sanity. <laughs> yeah. uh, it still lingers yeah. in my head. <laughs> yeah. GM said that my face is some <laughs> shit, so... <laughs> <laughs> There is also a chance people are looking for a extremely hooded Person, hmm. <laughs> <coughs> maybe you should not wear a hood. <laughs> right now, there's a wanted list. Whoever is extra hooded is wanted. Hmm. <laughs> Could it be? No, oh. I just. I was saying it is <laughs> All right. So it is about uh eight, and you also notice Felix is still not there. Has not been returning at all to the dorms it's been quite some time i i and uh I, can i roll i want to roll sure what do you want to roll for i want to roll if i'm if i if i'm too tired to do anything <laughs> <laughs> okay so that would be a strength no um stamina, stamina. you just had it no i'm too tired my character is like just lying on the bed <laughs> I'm too tired. You cannot get up. Ah, uh, guys, I'm too tired. Like I'm going to sleep. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what are you guys doing? <coughs> you guys want to find find Felix? Yeah. Lego. Because he has not been in his bed for some time, right? Yeah, has not been so... in bed or even returned to the dorm at all. Hmm. Yep. <coughs> Maybe we should get something to eat first. All right. Let's so, eat. So, so what, are you going to eat your rations at the the dorm, or are you going to some places that you want to eat? There's a free just... dining hall downstairs. This is true. <laughs> money. I won't say no to free food. All right, that's it. So free food then. Yep. All right. Okay. So you went downstairs. Uh, the to the mess hall downstairs. Uh. The. The meal was prepared for soldiers and the guards. It was very basic, but it does set your appetite. I also asked around if anyone seen Felix. And response is that no, no one has seen him at all. Because all five of you are quite the the mainstay at this place for some time now. I think for several weeks, so they know you as very familiar faces. And Felix has not returned at all. Oh. A long chat with Lenever, maybe or Liz. It seems like that should be that is maybe visiting. We Lenever. can head to the Daggerpot Inn. He might be there. Let's go check on Liz. So only the three of you are going out, right? Yeah. Good night, Kazuma. Call. Yeah. Right. You guys go ahead. I, I I'm gonna rest my bones. Uh. The three of you are going there, right? <coughs> yep. Mm-hmm. So the three of you set out with Carl uh, left behind to rest at the the dorms. 
So it took about 30 to 30 minutes plus for the walk, the drill field, uh, and also going all the way to the Daggerfort Inn. Legend, your walk, your walk was unevent, uneventful except for the poly snow getting colder, and pe- the the cold weather gets people inside earlier than normal. So the roads are a bit <coughs> empty. Clear. Yeah, it's clear <coughs> at night. So by around almost about nine, you arrive at the Daggerfort Inn. And as usual, around nine, the inn was quite full, people, or people going in and also uh, retiring early for a hot meat or ale <coughs> to warm their body. Scanning around for Felix. All right. Can you roll perception? All right. So. You went in. You scan around first for Felix. Okay, all three of you roll perception. Camille roll a three. Nine. Rolling. Camille was a bit distracted by else. by the wench. Yeah. Bar wench. <laughs> Ooh, twenty. Top twenty. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <and Chen. laughs> nice. All right. Chen Chen notice eh? and we can... <laughs> <laughs> okay. The <laughs> here's the, the fun part about uh, Shadow. I think he still keeps smelling <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. He... Yeah, either the 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 spell did not fully clean that or something is still stuck oh, inside the double Lost hood trail. in between the the the, the double hoods. <laughs> mm. <laughs> So okay, but Chen Chen, uh, you notice um, inside is is quite lively tavern at night. Lionel, the bar key, the bartender, is at his uh, at his station, tending to the needs of the the patrons, the the tavern, uh, the tavern people. Um, there is uh, somebody playing the lute. Uh, at the corner, providing entertainment. Looks like a, uh, and then you saw Liz now helping the bar wench to to serve the uh, the evening meals, <coughs> but there's no sign of Felix. I walk up to the bar, <coughs> then I'll ask Lionel. Hey Lionel, have you seen Felix? Just a second, good sir. Uh, let allow me to 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 finish tending to this uh, gen- good sir here, just for a bit, eh? Sure, so sure. I know, just okay. he was there, and then tending to the need of uh, the order of somebody, and then and then after that he gave his undivided attention to you. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Oh, I see. Oh, what what's that smell? I can <laughs> smell something. Still smelly, isn't it? Uh, well, I, but... I did not. I, I did not mean it's you. Pardon my. I, I did not mean to be rude. I, I'm. I'm just saying that something. I just smell something. Liz, clean something here. I. I, I think I start <laughs> smelling something bad. I think you are not doing a good job cleaning. <laughs> so okay. Oh yes, sir. Oh. Uh, but anyway, you, you want something to eat? Happen to see. Who? Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah, why not just? Uh, I will have a nail, please. <coughs> oh, okay. Um, all right, sure. Uh, what do you have? We have some hot potatoes today. <laughs> sure, And... why not? Yeah, sure. We uh, yeah. yeah somebody anyway, like came here and, and say you cut if you cut it this, and then you you put it in hot oil. They we can call it a fries. <laughs> French fries or something, so it's new. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Put some salt. Anyway, Lionel, <laughs> do yeah. you happen to see Felix around here? Master Felix. Oh, I think he he came, he did came in earlier, much much earlier. I think uh, early in the evening, 
around several hours ago he mm-hmm. talked to that he he seems to to come in um all riled up or, or he seems something seems to be bothering him and he seems to be at a quite discomfort and he has been i don't know just between you and me he seems to be scratching himself a lot <laughs> i think <laughs> yeah i think he has he has some lies or something but i do not speak with ill about him maybe he has he's down or something yeah yeah, yeah. Did, did he happen to see where do he going where is he going by any he, chance oh he checked up on list of course uh, i see check down list but uh our deal is that he, i will hire list to to help around but so far Liz has been a quite adept young lady i think and, and she's helping more with the the servings nowadays and cleaning but seeing that Liz is okay he 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 met with somebody and somebody. they seem to be yeah a a, a lady i see mm-hmm. seems to be familiar with each other and they they had a good chat Can you describe describe how how is the lady looks like? <coughs> ah, well, what can you let me see? Ah, she seems to be a red headed uh, lass, um, thing from from the the way she handles himself. She seems to know her way around the swords. Oh, where I, where is my manners and my nowadays? I'm getting old. You see that the the person there, okay, playing playing and and entertaining the 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 other tavern members. Mm-hmm. That's her actually. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lionel, for the info. And then I'll slide in a piece of gold for the drinks and food and for the info. How much probably hey. the food and drink cost? Ah, I think you are a regular. So I think I'll just let this one slide because I think nowadays there are so many people. Uh, I think I, I'm making quite a sum. This tavern. But I see. oh. One thing I need to mention: uh, more and more people are coming to this town, and just outside the gates, around the caravan, there seems to be an accumulation or a congregation of people from outside of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they they and they are not leaving. They seems to be. Setting up camps. <coughs> I see. Mm-hmm. All right. Just, we'll just, just, like just, w- j- just watch yourself. If I were right. you, sometimes I do not know whether they come. Well, they seem to be coming from the surrounding villages, but mm-hmm. more and more, um, just be careful. The ir- the non regulars, are there all around, but you never know. All right then. Thank all right. you. Of course, and then I'll poke Camille and whisper to him. Say, uh, there's a lass over there that had been talked to Liz. Go see what can you find out from her. I think that is okay. Fault. I'm on it. After all, I go. <laughs> well, uh, this might be interesting. Yes, as like an arrow released from the bow, <laughs> Camille uh, makes a headway straight to the person of interest. I observe her performance and I join in. Ah, eh, the initial performance seems to be uh, turning into a duet, but. 
one uh, seems to be playing the the acoustic, and yours, you complement it by playing as a bass. Okay. And as soon as you you have that, there is a scream outside of the Daggerfall Inn. And there, is, there seems to be a commotion from the front door of the Daggerfall Inn. I'll head out. <laughs> so it's like, and then everybody was seems to be up in arms from inside the tavern as if to, to check out what's going on. Alright, so, what do you do? Um, yeah, There's I'll the three head, of you. Head out. For me, I head out immediately. All right. Just to see what's happening. I'm still with the lady. Okay. And the lady, okay, is also... Has also stopped her performance and... Made her way towards the front of the, the inn. To the, the front door of the inn. I casually follow her. Okay. Chen Chen, what do you do? commotion outside is about alright the commotion outside eh? mm. okay <laughs> the commotion outside so all the the two of you and several of the other patron members from inside the inn rush out into the the, mid, the night cold air as if trying to see what the commotions are and there are several people from uh, outside of there screaming. There seems to be an attack outside of the gates. Right in front of the fort in the gates, the main gates. Yes, the main gates outside of the gates. Can oh. I see is there any ladder that can go within the walls of the gate on the upper walls of the gate? You well, you don't see it, but the gate, the gates are open. All from right. the people, from the people <clears throat> running, running around, and you see some of the guards are making their way, uh, battling the crowd to get outside of the gates. All right. Uh, with all the commotion, <clears throat> I will try to head there stealthily. Roll stealth, please. Rolling. Why the internet is so slow? Uh? Yeah, I think Before I move on, I ask the lady. Have you seen Felix? I think it's a roll twenty problem. It's not. It's not the. It's not the internet problem. Because mine is quite slow. Also. Really? Uh, I'm oh. just gonna try and roll for something. Give me a second, guys. Okay. I got a twelve. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, roll, public roll, yes, let's go. <laughs> Even the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Uh, Even the dude with the heavy armor roll stealth higher than me. <laughs> but I am at, f- at a 4, then just a negative 4, that's a critical No, no, Chen Chen, Chen Chen. Oh, okay, Chen Chen, alright. <laughs> Chen Chen, Chen Chen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, with, with this advantage, you know. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, it is a one pitch. <laughs> okay, so there were commotions uh, at the gates, and some of you are. Uh, you seem to be okay. Uh, Chen Chen, you seems to be stealthily <laughs> able <laughs> to engage, <laughs> much to the chagrin and disbelief of. Shadow, mm. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and Camille, Camille. being a... Uh, well, a pervert that he is. is <laughs> <laughs> actually very stealthy. Uh, very practiced in stealth. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? We'll try to check out what is happening. Perception, I believe. And okay, so perception, please. Uh, fifteen. 
Today is not your game. Yeah, the commotion is very chaotic. Ah, uh, even I, though I you you manage. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chen Chen. Um, the two of you managed to blend well with the crowd and also the the guards coming in and out, making your way towards the gate, but. You can see, you can hear people saying, uh, people screaming. There is a, a wild creature outside attacking uh, and wounding people left and right. Oh no, the werewolf! Yeah. You have to see what is the creature first. Yeah. <coughs> Since and, I got a tree, I cannot and, see anything. And Chen Chen. Yes. Uh, your perception is thirteen. And it is night time. You notice it is a full moon tonight. Oh. Alright. Mm-hmm. Oh, attention. Yeah, I just realized there is a background music, boys. Yeah, this. I was thinking of just getting like outside the gate. So what do you do? Uh, by this time, you saw the red head, uh, rushing outside, to, with the the soldiers going outside. She seems to be joining them. Can I see where this Chen Chen and Ka- uh, Camille is at around me? Yeah. They are okay. They are right. Okay, the two of them are in front of the gates, near the entrance of the gates. Mm-hmm. You are a bit uh, several feet away behind. Alright. And people are still rushing, trying to rush into the gates. And by now, the situation has changed a bit because the guards are trying to check who is entering and who is leaving. I see. The wall that is does not appear to have a second floor, right? Is it? Uh, from where you you look, it doesn't seem to to have that. And there are some doors that may lead to the parapets of the wall, <coughs> but there seems to be a heavy guard's presence. All right. I walk up to Camille and uh, uh, Chen Chen. Hmm. And so you guys want to head into the action maybe we can just let's see how the guys are doing oh I mean we cannot see what's the thing that is attacking from here that is true that's why we need to get out like get out of the city and see what's going on outside hmm Camille. Hmm. Let's go see somewhere we can see. All right so, then. So the three of you are going out. Try to get closer to where the commotion is. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I I will let you your screen refresh. Okay. Yep. Is that a Mickey Mouse? Oh no, no, no. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey Mouse. Dick! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the three of you are uh, on this side of the, the wall. Okay. Alright. So do you want to go outside? Because the guard seems to be bent on keeping people out rather than get. Um, preventing people from going out. 
okay, oh, walk up see. towards the one of the guards and then Wait. Do do the yeah the letter who have the letter? I I do. Okay. Uh, I mentioned that we are from the Midnight Hunters and we would like to check out on what is happening and see if we could exist anyway. Okay. Let me roll this. Okay. Well, luck is with you when one of the guards seems to know who you are. Being very well, you guys have been very present and in their face for many many weeks now, <laughs> and they say, "Ah, oh, these are the things that that these are the the adventurers that that help and under the direction of Lord Lanever." Let's let them out. I can Lord Lanever can vouch for them. So you guys are going out. Yep. All three of you, eh? What okay, the hell is that face? <laughs> oh, the guy with no ears. The mouth. Okay. So I will let you process the the scene. Ah, uh, there seems to be a lot of things. what you see. Yeah, there are a lot of things going on. There, there are people trying. Uh, seems to be like townsfolk trying to move away from. One beast yep. that is right next to a caravan. Yep. And cannot cannot ping. All right. From what am I seeing? Okay. I guess that the guy in the middle is the one that we've. No left ear. Yes. Uh, uh, he has but he seems to be, he, yeah. He seems to be focusing his attention fully at the the creature at the far oh, end. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, what? what? I can't see anything. Okay, hey. cannot see anything because you are not there. Ah, okay. I thought my. <laughs> I thought you are not loading. there. You 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 are sleeping. Ah. <sighs> Can I just see it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was not loading. <laughs> was refreshing. Nah. See, you are not there. <laughs> you are sleeping. You are resting. Uh... Okay. So the, the 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 person seems to be very attentive and ignoring that. See, and seems to be moving ever closer towards that creature that has blood on its fangs. And claws, mm-hmm. and that creature is <sighs> seems to be panting and scratching itself. <clears throat> okay. Can I make on a perception check on the creature? I uh, okay. To see whether if it's missing one of its ear. Okay. Roll a perception, please. All right. Rolling. Wait for why? So slow. Why is it so slow? Could be the app. Yeah, maybe because I'm in a room which is further from my go. Wi-Fi. Rule fifteen. Okay, okay. Finally, after a series of unfortunate rules, <laughs> <laughs> Lemony Snicket <laughs> finally rolls a, a good perception check. Good thing okay. it was was not performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, from where you stand, even though it's quite far. The the creature's ear seems to be intact. Oh them, all right. Okay. <coughs> all right. <coughs> Can I? Uh, all the black circles is the townsfolk, I believe. Seems to to look like it. All right. 
I'll try to move closer a bit. Okay, all right. Then, uh, But okay, as of now, let's see. I will yeah. try to surrender one control to woman. Okay, by now, all of you, please roll initiative. All right. All of us. Yes, all of you. Okay. All of you in this map. Okay, I will surrender one control to one. Okay. Uh, click on your on your token and roll in. Eh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Uh, turn order. Okay, oh. good. Yep, yep. Camille is twenty two. Shadow is seventeen. I'm waiting for Chen Chen and. Uh, where's this? Where's this? Oh, it's been a while. Uh, yep. Initiative, right? How do you how do you do this? Click on your token first, and then yeah, roll the initiative. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that last is so fast, like Camille. Mm hmm. I'm waiting for Chen Chen. Click on the token. Click on the token. Go on your character sheet. Yep. Click initiative. Okay, got it. Let's see. Hmm, it's nice. Okay, this is going to be the turn order. And let's see. Before you you have that, okay. There's the initiative is there, and by now, this is what you see. The guy, the person of interest, the one-eared guy, seems to be fo totally focused on the creature that seems to be attacking everybody. Mutter something as if saying something to it, and you are too far from from him to to listen what he was saying. And as you go about, he seems to undergo a transmutation, a transformation process. All right. He turns into <coughs> a werewolf. A werewolf. Can I recognize? This is the werewolf that we encountered earlier in the campaign. Ah, uh, can you roll perception? This right. time, yeah. Fifteen. Another fifteen. Ooh, okay. This seems to be missing an ear. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and the marks. Uh, there are se there seems to be some scars at the back and near the the ear that seems to be familiar to you. All right, all right. And this werewolf immediately went and attacked the other werewolf. Okay, and it is a feral battle. Okay, what, now what do you do? Conflicting. The first uh, it, is it going into following the turn order? See. If it's going to follow the turn order, so it should be the last and then coming. Yep, it, it is at last. Okay. And. In... <laughs> Fourteen, fourteen. Okay. All right. So both of these werewolf are mowing each other. Yes, it is mowing each other at this uh, same rate as what you can see. <laughs> All right. So um, 
I, I guess I take control of this character. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? I will surrender the control right. to you. Right, okay, thank you. So, uh, the, this last shall go up about 15 feet and try to um, use... Oh, wow, this character is so... Give me a second, eh? I'm not used to this character. Uh, she will try and cast sleep. Uh, she will try and cast sleep. There we go. On? On this radius, this 20 foot radius. 20 feet radius. 20 feet should be around uh, drawing, circle. Should be something like this, right? He's saving again. Dex. Spell. Dex. Give me a second. Uh, That's no saving, is it? Uh, no, I'm. Um, uh, 5d8 the total of how many hit points creatures. Oh, yeah. I don't I, think that's a safe Yeah, one. yeah. I, I, I need to roll 5d8. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five eight. Yeah. Okay. So, do I cast it at level two? Oh. Yeah. I'll I'll cast it at level two. Okay. So that will give me an extra two d eight. So five six. Yep. Uh, five six seven seven eight. All right. D eight. Oh no! Sorry. Oh god. How does one add more die to the die counter? D8 times 5. Advanced die roll. Okay. Roll 7. D8 plus. No plus, just. Okay. Alright, there we go, 29. So it is for. For uh, both of them. Hit point 20. Yes. 29 uh, hit point and below will have to sleep, right? Yes. Subtract okay. it from the lowest hit point. Okay. Both of them seems to be enraged oh. and fighting of each other. Oh. Too soon. Shit. Right? Barbarian <laughs> werewolf. I shall hit back 15 feet. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just behind this, uh, just behind this lady. Yeah. <laughs> this lady was, was still running. Uh, look at that. Oh no! The <laughs> <laughs> mouth. Yep. There's two of them. Yeah, battling. Get back! Get back! Get back! Yes, get Ooh, back! Lady. Get back! <laughs> All right. So, uh, Camille, your turn. Ah, uh, yes. And. So for my, I shall cast Fairy Fire. All right. Ooh. On. I will draw the twenty foot cube. Oh, each. Oh, cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, let me oh, remove okay. my sleep spell then. DC fourteen deck save. Hmm. Alright, ah, DC 14. Tech save. Fairy fire. Okay. This one, eh? Okay. Tech save. Oh. Ah. Um, oh, yeah. They got light up. Yep. Mm, got, violet got wolf. Make it violet. Okay. Nice. Um, the, it lighted the night okay. and it it screams in pain for a bit as if it is in a bit of discomfort but it's still focusing 
entirely on the werewolf in front of it, clawing, gnashing, snarling, and biting each other. Okay, is that it, Camille? Yeah. So now all attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and I shall end my turn. I shall stay put. Okay. Shadow. Yep. I shall move thirty feet towards the right. One, two, ten, thirty. Then I'll once I got there, I shout towards the civilians. Get out of here. Get to the town to safety. Get to the town. And our car. <laughs> this the person just ran, <laughs> hearing what you say, seems to shook him out from his. Uh, stupor, frozen hmm. state, <laughs> stupor, <laughs> and rush towards the the okay. gates. Suddenly, gates close. Oh no! All right, All right, and then I'll aim at the lead up, lead up werewolf. That is one, two, three, four, five. This one, the lead up, the light up one. Oh, okay. All right, this one. Okay. Yep. That should be. Ten, twenty, about twenty-five feet for me, right? I can only about that. The ruler. Yeah. All right. How many feet was I'll it again? Cast ray of frost. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, with advantage, so it's thirty-four. Ray of Frost. Twenty-four. Alright. Yep. Cold damage so is six. So it got six cold damage, and then its its movement is reduced by ten feet. Okay. It uh, spell save DC thirteen. Save. Yep. Is it a C? Well, for sure, it's not a charismatic save for the werewolf. Mm. I don't think uh because it's a uh, attack spell so it doesn't have. Oh a... okay, yeah yeah okay. Yep. All right. So, so it just uh... takes six cold damage. Yeah. And then the movement speed got reduced by ten. Okay. And then I would use. Hmm. I'll stay put there for the time being. Okay. And my turn there. You end your turn now, Chen Chen. Yep. Um. Okay. Yeah. What did you want to do again? Uh, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, your voice is a bit breaking up. Secret flame. Secret flame. Okay. Dexterity saving throw. I'll take one. Okay, radiant damage. Okay, and deck saving throw, right? Yep, yep. yep. Okay, deck saving throw. Six. Yeah, roll twenty is a bit slow. Oh, okay, slow. Right, what's okay. the saving throw again? Deck saving throw. Uh, spell save DC is yes. zero. Huh? Sorry. Uh... Oh yeah, spell save DC is zero. Yeah, DC zero. Yeah. Huh? This is zero. Hmm. No la Eight plus proficiency plus wisdom. 
Okay, plus proficiency is plus wisdom. So, so 8 plus 2, 10 on. plus Chen Chen wisdom. Oh, because Chen Chen, uh, Chen, Chen uh, switch your username to Chen Chen. Don't use Gazi. Yeah, then only it will appear your DC. There we go. It's DC 14. So, it's okay lah if the werewolf fail already. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, it fail already. So, mm -hmm. 3 radiant damage. Oh, okay. So, it is lighted and radiant now. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Right? Is that it, Chen Chen? Yep. Okay. Now, the werewolf will make a melee attack advantage which werewolf this one the the werewolf is fighting the, the werewolf the, yes the <laughs> one that is not irradiated <laughs> okay it's like somebody uh, that thing is wearing a cam X, ready yeah. X, like fall out irradiated. <laughs> it will bite and claw. Oh, interesting. The claw. With a smack, okay, it slashes the other werewolf. The other werewolf starts screaming in pain with a Ooh. big, huge gash on it. Okay, and it is fighting back. And finally, okay, everybody kind of roll perception. Perception. Yes. Twenty-two. All right. Okay. <laughs> Check it out. Okay. Camille Shadow. There. Okay. That's uh perception. Okay. Uh. Norman, you're controlling Leona. All right. Uh, Chen Chen. Uh. That high, quite high perception. It seems like there is a certain garments that uh, seems to be scattered around this guard. Which guard? The, this guard, the, the dead guard. Okay. It looks like a... Something that is familiar to you. That you notice. Oh, but... Uh. Oh, no, John. Okay. This thing. And... By now, this werewolf seems to be irradiated. Because before this, it was a bit dark. With all the fairy light and <laughs> irradiated. And all, all the lights coming around. You notice a, a bundle of stuff. That is... Located near this guard. Okay. This werewolf will use its action to disengage and attempt to dash. Running away. Uh. Seems oh, like it, with a howl, it seems to be. The movement speed is minus 10. So okay, total max 10. with dash is just 40. Uh, its speed in werewolf form is 40. Yep. Okay. And dash is that. So let me see. Okay. Dash. Yeah, 40 and. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 40 is here. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, let's go to round two. Leona? Oh, uh, God. So, that's 40, eh? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a second. <coughs> Excuse me. Five. 
Okay, I'll move here. Oh no. Okay, I move here. Okay. And I'll cast uh, healing words onto the well roof. Hey. Huh? Okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. 1d4 plus spellcasting modifier. Spellcasting modifier would be charisma. Wait, what? Is that right? How do? 1d4 plus your spellcasting modifier. Not on the character sheet. <coughs> Should be on the, the spell. Spellcasting ability. Spellcasting. Spell attack. Uh, get the sheet on spells. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. There's Charisma, so that means okay. Uh, it's a one d four plus four. One d four plus four. Just a d four. Huh, healing word is not that great. Okay. So I will just okay. cast one d four. One d four. Yep, plus four. So four, five, six, seven. So it heals up to seven, and I shall uh, end the turn. Okay. Wait. Uh, well, something interesting happened, uh, in which Leona suddenly cast a healing spell onto the retreating or the dashing werewolf that's running away. All right. And now, Camille, it's your turn. All right. I shall move and try to shoot. Okay. Shoot the running werewolf, right? Mm, that's my movement, and let me see. The range is quite far. I'm trying to shoot from 60 feet. Okay. 60 feet. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, I have an advantage from fairy fire, but my hand crossbow range is 30. So I guess that's a normal shot for me. Yep. You try to shoot in the dark and at a great distance. Far greater than the range of a uh, effective range of the crossbow, hand crossbow. Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. It seems to j shoot and hit something, based on what you can see in your limited eyesight. It seems to may register a hit, but. It's quite far. Mm, okay. Anything, anything else? Okay, you have move. You have that. So, are you ending your turn? All right, Shadow. Yeah. Your turn. All right. Since chasing that wouldn't be a good idea, since it will run away, probably won't die. I. <clears throat> so tough. Uh, I'll ready up uh, Ray of Frost targeting at this where we have no ears no left this, ear this where we yeah okay. I'll ready up the spell uh -huh. in case that he turns and try to attack uh, attack anyone okay that is the trigger and then I'll say I'll see this Give me a good reason to not to try and kill you right now. And then okay. I'll pass the turn. All right. Who did you talk? To, uh, who did you tell? Uh, ask that to. The werewolf with no left ear. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. All right. So you will be at the ready action at the end of your turn. Yep. All right, Chen. <coughs> so now. I'm gonna move around 
same thing maybe here Yes. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna change it. This is running away. Right? I'm gonna cast. Right. Uh, spike rope. Okay. Okay. Ooh, spike rope. Okay. Seven uh, sharp thorns. <coughs> this one. 150 feet, alright? It is within range. So, around this way. Like this. Okay. <coughs> is that it? Yeah, that is it. Yeah, that's it. Then I'll stay more position. Mm -hmm. We pass the turn. Alright, pass the turn. The one eared werewolf seems to just ignore everything and look at the dashing, uh, the running away werewolf and just rush towards it. Ooh. Dashed. It just pad away, full speed, as if a single minded uh, motivation drives it, as is a, a, a feral berserk. Is going to really extend it. Okay. While the other one. The advantage. Instead of doing that, it's just. Boop, rushed away with a howl. Bye bye. It went away into the night. And soon, this follows. Now both werewolves are gone, as if they are. But in the distance, you can still hear, like, you know, like a dogs uh fighting in the night. Mm -hmm. You can hear, still hear from a distance. From a Things distance. are snarling, smashing. Oh god! All right, and that would end the turn order for everybody. <coughs> It was quite a chaotic scene by now. Uh, none of you were injured or anything. Um, it was quite a spectacle to see two werewolves at each other's throat, literally. Clawing, biting. What do you do? The Tangsu are shivering and, and, and all... I would... Hmm. What is it? We'll move up toward the cops and inspect the cops. Idea. Okay. Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. The corpse is. It looks like wearing the garbs of a guardsman, a town's guard. Oh no! Constable. The ladies become big. <laughs> Constable. Nah, it, it looks like to have that. But there is another. Okay, uh, can all of you? I before you mm. do that, I move mm. here and I shoot okay. an arrow. I shoot an arrow here. Towards where? Okay. Damn it! Does it, that that doesn't exist? Nope. Uh, you seem to see something in the in the night, but then again, it you shoot an arrow towards it. You may have missed it. Ah, alright. Ah. Ooh, but you, can I... But, yeah? I react to that. I fail. Okay. What do you do, Camille? Fairy fire. Fairy okay. fire, what? <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> everybody seems to be shooting into the night, into the dark. <laughs> the wall. Okay. Uh, the the dark alley now is all lighted up with a fairy fire. Uh, you you saw an arrow protruding on the doorway of a house. Lol. 
Okay. Okay. Everyone is jumpy tonight. Uh, again, the the DM, you want us to roll what? Ah, okay. You are all okay. Most of you, the three of you, are looking at the the corpse. dead corpse. Yeah, there seems to be a a mound of items near the corpse. <sighs> Can you roll perception? Three of you. All right. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's quite a impressive roll, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's like Does it came up? Not sure. Uh, <laughs> Give it a bit. Does not show up. Not sure. Not sure. There we go. Ooh. Net twenty. Okay. Oh, <laughs> finally. Yay. <laughs> finally, it's like accumulative bad. Becomes good. <laughs> All the your negative suddenly uh, turns to good. You saw some items of great value. Uh, there is a a long sword. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also a great sword lying around under there. And oh, don't tell me some shredded armor. Is it splinter armor? Well, from Is what you see, is of a sli- splinter armor? Yeah, the the long sword has a uh, silver edged on it. Can I make a investigation roll to see whether it's the cop is Felix? Roll investigation, please. Sixteen. Okay. <coughs> the splint armor in front of it is emblazoned with the symbol of tear. Ah. Uh... But it is the split now because uh, it seems to have um, been torn. I guess we find we found Felix with that expression. I just really uh, that information towards the others. Yep, I guess well, we did. Well, actually, it is not Felix. The dead guard is a guardsman. Oh, it's a guardsman. Yeah, it is. But all the equipments are Felix. Uh, yeah, we see. found him just now. Yeah, you just found. Okay, what you see, you see is. The guardsman is still uh, wearing his own armor, uh, his own broken sword, mm-hmm. and then uh, the equipment that you found is spread out, and some in in mounds right beside it. Oh, <laughs> and wow. By the by, this time, the redhead comes close to the party. Congratulations! Oh, hello there. You and just shoo away she, my she friend. She she also did an investigation. And enter, Leona. Congratulations! You just shoo away my shoo away my friend. <sighs> Do you know how hard it's going to track him? So you tell me that Did you hunt this mark him? Turn... You're telling us that Felix had turned into a werewolf? Seems that way. He told me that he was fighting werewolves in the forest somehow and got bitten by wolves. He didn't think nothing Did much of it. That. Yeah, he didn't think uh. nothing much of it, but he's been telling me that he's been feeling primal and whatnot <coughs> so yeah Edo and Gus uh, because of you, your high role you you kind of remembered you encountered the uh, at the farmstead is about a month ago uh, uh, by the way no 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 Central was not there and yeah, Kao. You, you, yeah it was four weeks ago uh, what 
Carl that is and, and Carl. Yeah, it was yeah, Felix, okay. Shadow, and Carl. They were there, and these two didn't came in yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shadow, but Shadow is there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Shadow so recalled that. Yeah, he recalled that. It was uh, remember when I said you have been here for four weeks. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, four weeks is a month, so, so this is a a new month, a oh, new God. new moon. Moon. Oh God. <laughs> to be honest. True. Alright. <laughs> ah, fuck. Come here. <laughs> Alright. So. Uh, cannot win against him. Okay. John tells me that you guys report to this person. I I don't know. Do, do you guys know who he's talking about? You mean Commander Lenova? Yeah, yeah, uh, him. So do the reporting. Like, tell him what's going on and tell him what's wrong. We need to get well, to him. That's the thing. The usual. That's. Hand over the reports to him is Felix. Felix. And being me, I'm not good at those kind of things. Again, who are you again? Well, I am. Well, um, I introduce this character. You see in front of you a very hot-looking redhead, uh, long hair and whatnot, and she is Leona Bellerin. Leona Bellerin. All right. <laughs> and she introduced herself to you guys. I'm Leona. I'm friends with John, and we. Yeah, fuck. He sent me a letter to. Yeah, he sent me a letter a while ago, and then, uh, fuck. Uh, you guys. Uh, well, let, let's at least go to this Lenever person. What you go to the Lenever person while I'll try and see what I can do. It's okay. I can talk. Let's go. If. Yeah, we need to if you want to find us, you can find us at the barracks. The barracks? Okay. I remember that. Alright. Uh, let's go. Uh, Lego. Brother, name's Jace. So all of you are going <laughs> to the barracks, right? Okay. Let's pick up Felix's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's collect his. Before that, I want to see if I can find anything of value. <laughs> Uh, hey. Perception. Okay. I think that oh, nice. Only Felix stuff there. Oh. Uh, you see everything. <laughs> okay. Um, is there a goal? Uh, his pouch, gold pouch. There, there are some gold strewn around, as if it was uh, in a fit okay. of rage. Things were strewn around. Things were torn apart. Uh, you recover about 22 gold pieces. 22 gold pieces, alright. Uh, two platinum pieces. Alright. The, the spin armor is totally shredded. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay, let me just put the... Uh, under, under the the cart that you saw, uh, there are some. There, there is a piece of crocodile skin. Mm. <laughs> Anybody want to pick that up? Are we recovering like uh, moments, or are just we really, are going straightly to the I'll, I'll I'll suggest that you guys. Uh, report into the guards and t- take those things as evidence. Yeah, sound good. I'll, I'll only take the Reaper part, Spin Armor. Ooh, modified armor, cool. <coughs> yeah. All right. Uh, do put your uh, put those into your items. Don't forget. All right. Uh, Who's the sword, what? The, yeah, the the great sword and the long sword are in still good condition. 
we we'll put that under evidence. Okay. Wait, Felix is there? But I I will fight them. Sex change. Lamau. You can say that. You can say that. Alright. 